Hi, welcome to our fourth video of our seven part series, Solution to our Rubik's Cube. Now I'd really like y'all to just... Subscribe to our videos! What I meant to say was, I'd really like y'all to just... Subscribe to our videos! I would just like you to... Subscribe to our videos! I'd like you to subscribe to our videos. Uh, okay, I'm better, I'm better. Um, but this, uh, part of our series is... This, it, it's the bottom setup. It's really simple, it's, um, just something you have to remember. Um, it's, it, you just have to remember this weird little thing. It, I, it's hard to explain. Um, first off, you're looking at the bottom, okay? It's the bottom setup, okay? And you would look for the, the white to be at the, uh, top left-hand corner. Just any white space at the top left-hand corner. Once you have that, you come up to the face right above that, okay? It's not that simple, just turn it up. And you go down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up. It's all you have to remember. Down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up. It's all you have to memorize for this step. Then you look for another white at the top left hand corner. You set it up there and you go down. Or up. You flip it up. Down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up. And you do that until you either have a right angle with two of them, so here, here, or here, here, or here, here, or here, here, or two straight across from each other, here, here, or here, here. It's just that simple. Just do it to have two remaining, unless they're up here or here. You need to get all these corners filled in, let's just say that. Okay? So now, um, just continue to do this. Um, it, it gets really confusing because it doesn't, it takes a while for this step. It's what hinders this method the most. Um, but eventually you'll start seeing patterns, and I'm not going to list off these patterns because I have so many and I'm not really sure if they work or not. But you'll start seeing patterns where they do work. Like, I've noticed that that pattern works. It's just yeah, something you have to figure out for yourself. And you just keep doing that until something happens like this. See, there's the right angle. There's two right there and all the corners are filled. Just think of it as filling the corners. Okay, there's your right angle and uh, that would be the next step of the solution. So I'll just do it again with this cube. Go put one in the top left, down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up. See, it's that simple. Then you do it again. Down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up. Now this is also the flaw in the, um, in the, in the layer by layer method. Um, I think it was one in a thousand times you do the Rubik's Cube in this method, there will be an infinite loop where you cannot solve it this way. You'll just have to restart, okay? So, um, it's not really a big number to worry about, but it will happen occasionally. So, uh, just watch out for that, and if you, if you think you've been doing it for too long, just go ahead and restart. It's not that bad to restart. But, um, uh, that's all for this step, I guess. Yeah, just, uh, subscribe to our videos. Subscribe to our videos! And I'll see you in our fifth step. Bye.